On September 19th, Queen Elizabeth II was buried in St. George's Chapel in Windsor. People all over the world, and especially the royal family, mourn the loss of their leader. Prince Harry also found the day of the funeral visibly difficult. Body language expert Judy James tells the son how to read Harry's body language. She noticed that Harry kept looking for eye contact with his big brother during the service in Westminster Abbey. During the service, he dabbed tears and tended to look around a lot, and there were at least two occasions when his gaze, which was more of a stare, seemed to be directed at William. In her reading, his facial expression indicated sadness and possible regret. After the service concluded, the brothers prepared to march behind the casket again. That's when Harry gave his most emotional performance, according to Judy James. As he stood in line, he watched the brother he had once been so close to, the nephew he had loved to play with, and the sister-in-law he had thought of his own sister walk in front of him without a glance in his direction. His face seemed to contort into a more intense sign of grief and his lips tightened again. Since he and his wife Meghan resigned as working royals and emigrated to the U.S., the relationship between the brothers seems to be very difficult. I wonder if he regrets that now. In addition, a palace insider revealed to Raider Online that the Queen invited Harry to join her at Balmoral, but he declined the invitation. Harry might regret that now too, because it would probably have been the last time he would have been able to see his grandma.